And we're back with another edition of Campaign Context. It's our series to provide you with some clarity as election season pushes forward. Vice President Kamala Harris just clinched the official presidential nomination for Democrats. And today, in a highly anticipated announcement, she named her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz. And the team wasted no time appealing to battleground state voters, holding a rally together in Philadelphia tonight. Pennsylvania is widely considered a swing state in this election, along with six other states, Wisconsin, Michigan, North Carolina, Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia. All states, the new team will barnstorm over the next four days. After President Biden stepped aside in the race, we were left wondering whether the Harris campaign will follow the Biden playbook when it comes to the swing states, or will she chart her own course? Does she need to reach out to a different type of voter than Biden? For some clarity on this, we reached out to University of Texas at El Paso professor Dr. Richard Pineda, who detailed where he thinks Harris's approach will need to differ from Biden's. I think that there needs to be some adjustment in strategy. Um, for example, some of the traditional industrial states, I think that the vice president needs to really talk about the uh, economic benefits that this administration has brought to for, especially like on infrastructure development. I don't think that the president would not have done that, but I think that it's, it's even more important for her to talk about her role in, in making those decisions and her role in being a part of the conversation. And Pineda says with Harris at the top of the ticket now, South Carolina could be back in play for Democrats, with Harris appealing to black voters and possibly another key demographic. White, moderate, conservative women who might be afraid of a four-year Trump term and the impact potentially on reproductive rights, but also on women's health. And what about Team Trump? Will there be a swing state shift in strategy to take on Harris? I think on the Republican side, I don't necessarily see there's going to be much of a change. You've heard already some of the rhetoric. The former president has gotten really good at using immigration and kind of forcing that as an issue no matter where he goes. So I don't think that that changes. And former President Trump is scheduled to hold a rally in Montana on Friday as Harris wraps up her four-day swing state tour. We'll keep up with the candidates and continue to bring you some more campaign context as we get closer and closer to Election Day.